and Broadway. Or uh, Grand. So when I get a nice fresh spinach, I try to keep the leaves and get, you know, if I'm making a stew, then I'll keep the stem. But if I just want the leaves, you know, I'll cut, throw the leaves to the front. Cut as much stem away as possible. All right. Now I'm left with a nice array of leaves for my spinach. Or you can just go like that. <laughs> I like my tomatoes or when I'm using this method, especially just vegetarian items, just diced, chopped, you know what I mean? I'm gonna sharp my Why is it important? Because it's nice to the delicate skin of a tomato easily. Mm. Nice time to go that way if you want to, get a more consistent. Mm. Just diced tomatoes. That would have been great for the side of it. Mm. Now we're good. We're gonna rinse it. So, when you buy your vegetables from the garden, I mean, from a farmer's market, which is the best way to do, you know, you wanna be able to rinse through, you know, the dirt, because, like, you know, especially, um, if, you know, if you can zoom into my hands, you'll see there the beets I have in my hand. This comes out of the ground. There's nothing wrong with it, you know, just a little dirt beet wall, you know? Take it to your sink. And just, you know, rinse through it. And then we're gonna peel this afterwards, but we just wanna get all the dirt from this. You know? And grab a towel from here. And same thing with my kale. So the interesting part is kale is an amazing superfood that's available to us today in the markets as well. Superfood. Mm -hmm. That gives us a lot of boost, a lot of good health. We can eat this as salads, eat in our stews, eat in our pasta meat. So I do about an inch in because what happens when I cook it, it shrinks. So I don't want it to dilute into the soup, so I want to give it like a like a, like a one inch, you know, inch and a half of that, so that way I want it to hold its own against all the things that is going in there. Right. And we can turn this into a salad as well. And then, so this is a very popular around the world as well. Green peas. Same thing, you'll wash it. So the way my mom used to make this is very simple. She would use um, julian. She'll cut the carrots really fine. And um, onions, garlic, simple. Um, and then we call that fasolia. Very simple vegetable greens that go on the side. Salt and black pepper, olive oil, and a little bit of um, chopped chilies. So keep that in there as well. Cut the end part. Knife away from your hand. Press away. Bam. 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 And then you should be able to take all the excess off of the lid. I mean the skins off of this garlic. Just by just pull it. In my garden. To keep a carrot, you've got to water it. Got to keep, got to keep the so cool. Very simple. You should be able to identify each of every item that you're cooking. It should be clear what you're mixing in. Nothing out of cans. Freshness from the market. And you're meeting the person that's from the market. You pick this great vegetables. Cook this whole pot. Market, so it's a definitely a plus. Um, and right now we're gonna go toss this amazing ingredients together. All right, follow me. Well done, it's soaked. All the flavors are already sealed in there, right? So I'll just use pasta water just to bring that, you know, to life again. So it's, it, it absorbs that moist right now. A little heat again.